Hey guys, Cody here, KIG Outdoors. I want to do a quick current day vlog for you, just a real quick video. I want to uh, give you a little, a little bit of information about what has been going on in uh, old Kentucky. So, with that being said, uh, right off, I want to go ahead and say Saturday was opening gun season. Um, had high hopes, was really excited. Wow, what a letdown. Um, it was a good cold morning, 28 degrees, got up, hit the deer stand early. Now this is the deer stand that I just moved to. If you haven't, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, and I kind of relocated my deer stand about a week before gun season. Um, go back and check out my last video, I talk about it, but I don't want to get into all that crap again. But anyway, I sat in this stand all day. Saturday from 6.30 to dark, I mean, we were there. Zero deer. Um, I didn't even see any deer anywhere i was i was watching trust me um the guy that hunts on the other side of the farm with me actually saw a button buck a doe maybe a four point spike he wasn't nothing impressive uh, but that being said at least he saw something i don't know that didn't see nothing so got real discouraged because you know you're sitting in that deer stand and you hear pow 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 everybody in your freaking county getting a deer but you <laughs> But uh, that's all right. That's all right. You know, it happens. But so we went home, regrouped, decided to go out Sunday morning. Once again, I decided not to sit in that deer stand. I felt like uh, I was I was just not in their path. I was not where they were going to be. I I did not feel like rut was in full swing. And what I mean by that is I didn't like I said didn't see no deer. Didn't see no random movement didn't see no random deer running through here to there they were bedded down they were laying down you know laying down for all i'm concerned so i said i'm gonna move to mother deer stand been up there for five years i've always seen a deer there um i've literally not hunted there and not seen a deer just to kind of you know i didn't care what it was just kind of pump me up give me give me juice back up well with that being said we did see some deer now there's a uh, something that I'm gonna show you that uh, I feel like I feel bad about. I feel like I should have done my obligation and killed this deer. Um, everybody I've talked to said, you know, I, he'll be fine, he'll live. But um, I'll go ahead and put the video right here. Um, this deer walked out, and he had a huge mass, a huge abscess or something on his chest. I mean, we're talking. I would say the size of a small volleyball. On his, on the, in between his two front chest, you know, legs, and uh, if you, if y'all uh, follow me on Instagram or Facebook, uh, KIG Outdoors, I actually put a video of it up there of that deer, and asking what people would do, would they let it walk or would they put it out of its misery? And uh, about everybody said they would let it walk, just because I think it was so early in uh, gun season, you know, you don't want to waste your buck tag on uh, a deer that's defected. Now with that being said, it walked off, I let him walk, and I, you know, I made that decision in my head, and it's too early. If this had been the last day of gun season, that deer would have been dead, I, I wouldn't even thought twice about it, how to put him out of his misery, get him out of there. But, uh, he's a little three-pointer, maybe four, I can't really tell, but I just let him go. Um, I thought I'd share that and ask you guys what you thought. What would you all do? What, and down in the comments, leave down, in, down below, what would you do to this buck? Would you let him go? Would you uh, would you let him walk, or even if you killed him, would you eat the meat? I'm I'm kind of skeptical of even even eating the meat off of him. It just kind of worries me. But uh, you know, some people it doesn't bother, but it, to me, yeah, it kind of bothers me. So after after that one went by, we went probably almost an hour, or two hours. Now remember what I said earlier. I didn't feel like rut was in full swing. Out of nowhere, I had a little small. Uh, six to eight point buck come running from my left into the woods saw him for about five seconds just enough to perk me up and say what was that um, I did put out deer urine but I do not think he was he was trailing me and of course um, I'll show you right here he walked out to the back side of the the woods and he was gone jumped the fence and that was uh, that was that now about 45 minutes later out popped a doe out of the the woods she walked out to the cornfield walked back 
squatted. And I did not get her peeing on here, marking the spot, but where she is standing at right now is the spot she marked. She literally squatted down, peed, made her mark, um, and got out of there. And uh, lo and behold, probably five minutes later, I'm not even kidding you, it's probably five minutes later, uh, the deer that had originally went through had came back around hopped back over the fence the little six or eight point buck and there he stood now guys i could have killed this deer all day long um some people would have some people would not i'm not judging you um i feel like it was so early in the season you know if this was all i seen i would have shot it if this was the last day he had been a dead buck but you know um i've seen a lot of big deer and i'm still i'm, I'm still waiting on that one buck don't get me wrong, this buck's going to be a good buck next year. I, I just made the decision to let him walk. But you'll see him. He's got his nose down, smelling, scraping, looking around, snorting. He was going crazy, grunting, and he takes off. And uh, that was the last I seen of him. I didn't see him no more that day. So, with all that being said, though, it was a great day. Uh, we did not stay all day there. We Actually, a big front come in, and it started raining really heavy. And... Uh, I did not have my rain gear with me. My fault, right? Um, it was a lot warmer. It was probably about 45 degrees that day. And uh, so I just decided to, you know, get out of there while I was still, my underwear wasn't wet. Probably a huge mistake. I was planning on going back, but some things come up, like always, in family. Take care of family first. Um, deer hunt anytime, you know, when the family doesn't need to come first. But went home took care of some business and uh that's that now guys i'm itching i am itching to get back out there monday i couldn't go tuesday i couldn't go and probably wednesday i'm not going to be able to go because by the time i get home i work till 3 30 time i get home 4 15 4 30 i'm in the stand i probably got anywhere from an hour to an hour and 10 minutes of daylight now with that being said i also have kids i gotta watch which no big deal it's my responsibility i take care of it i love it and uh you know i gotta i can only hunt when i can i actually had a buddy go hunting tonight over there that i hunt with and uh he didn't have any luck i just i just don't feel like run is in full full effect here um i've had a lot of people say that it is um i'm just not seeing it. i'm not seeing that buck you know come out of nowhere i know i saw that one but i think this weekend's gonna be legit i think it is with that being said uh I went to Cabela's last Saturday and uh, went in there and actually had a friend of mine uh, named Scott come up to me and said, man, I think you need to go and look this product up. And basically it's what it's called is a rut and buck package. And what it is, is it's made by Conquest and it, they're scent sticks. Um, they look like deodorant, like you put on your arm. Um, basically you got an Evercom and a rut and buck. And, uh, so you just go out and you put it on the tree, rub it, rub it on the ground, um, you know, just kind of, kind of put it out there. And uh, from what I understand, the the rut and buck, if you put this on the tree, they've got pictures of bucks coming up and licking it, and I mean, just licking the tree, you know, trying to get that that smell. And uh, so, guys, I'm gonna give this a try. I don't know if you've all have ever seen this. I think I paid twenty nine ninety nine for it. Um, Seems like a pretty good deal. They also have something they call an Evercom. And this is supposed to be the world's first ever calming scent. And what that means is you go around, you put this all around your deer stand, put it on your you know, tree underneath your deer stand, around it. That way if a doe or a buck comes in there, it's supposed to be kind of like a, a bedding deer scent. Calms them, makes them feel like it's okay to be there. And uh, just puts them at ease, you know. And you know, that's a good thing. It's that, it, it, I know in rut it really doesn't matter, but a buck's going to be chasing, a buck's going to be chasing. He ain't, he ain't going to care if he gets a sniff of a human. I mean, he will, but he's going to keep on going. So I'm going to give this a try. This is going to be something I'm going to try this weekend. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do a pretty, I don't know, extensive review just because I'm hunting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and put out the rut and buck. I'm going to put it on a post that I can see or a tree or something. That I can see from my stand and see if it really works. Now the Evercom is going to be really hard to prove that it works. Um, I don't think I can ever prove to you guys that it works. Other than if I have 10 deer come in and they don't 
smell me and they're not alarmed and yeah I guess it works but uh we're gonna give that a try it is a uh, is a wax kind of formula basically like I said uh, just twist it apply it and put it back in the bag it's reusable resealable and uh, I think it's $29.99 this weekend so check that out guys and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now you can you can smell it here and the bags not even open so let, let me tell you something Seal's not even cracked and I can smell it, so hopefully it's some good stuff. Guys, got some exciting news for y'all. That's right. We hit 500 subscribers. We're sitting at 98,000 views, about to roll 100,000, and uh, I couldn't be happier. Um, I think currently we're sitting at 510 subscribers. If you remember about two or three videos ago, I talked about doing a giveaway. Well, that time is now. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to give away a Cabela's gift card for $15 and a DTF shirt, your size, KIG Outdoors, to one lucky winner. We're only going to do one this time because uh, times are hard, you know, you know what I'm saying. So the way that you enter this contest is four things, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Down below and uh, we will randomly pick a winner on the next video I make which will be next Saturday I plan on making a video then and uh, you will be notified Saturday when you win so make sure to catch my next video um, I plan on uh, doing one with about the Evercom or the uh, Conquest deodorant sticks wherever the hell they are and uh, doing a little hunting so we will try our hardest if if I do not produce a video Saturday it will be Sunday but Make sure that you uh, turn that little bell notification on to let you know when I post the next video to see if you're the winner. So, make sure you comment, subscribe, like, and share down below. And uh, guys, we'll see you in the next video.